a video explaining the ongoing build out of my Wii Roll. Um, the Wii Roll, I believe, is a 2017. I got it second hand. I believe it's one of the original Silver Clouds. Six feet wide by 10 feet long, plus the nose, adds another foot or two. 66 inches high. So can't really stand up in it, but I wanted it to fit in my garage. And here it is in the garage, and you can see it just barely fits. One thing I did not take into account for on the width were the tires and the fenders. Obviously, six feet wide will fit in the garage, but I forgot to add it's probably three feet total for the tires and fenders. So basically, I have one millimeter clearance on all sides to get into the garage. It is a pain, and I got to figure out an easier way to do it. Uh, here's the inside as I got it. The back flipped up on the hydraulic posts. I don't think Tom does that anymore, but I dig it. Um, the flooring was already in, and it had the AC, and it had the spare tire. Uh, here's a closer look at the inside. The baseboard trim was not put in, so that comes up in a later picture. One of the first purchases I did was this uh, retractable couch futon thing for sleeping. Um, it goes all the way down and I can throw some sheets over it and sleep on it. You can fold it up and make it into a nice couch. Uh, this part right here where the arms would be on the couch, they do sort of ratchet up to become um, uh, to become armrests. They're just down right now. So that's like the first purchase I made. Here I am trying to decide what I'm going to do for the trim. I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to put down this, I guess it's quarter round or some sort of plastic molding I got at Home Depot. Or if I wanted to try to find this aluminum trim, which is what Tom uses. Um, long story short, I couldn't really find the aluminum trim. So I just went with the um, that plastic molding, which you'll see in another picture. Then I put down this wallpaper. It's the vinyl uh, reusable wallpaper, almost like the, the fat head stickers, if you remember those from five, ten years ago. So I bought the rolls online at Home Depot. They're kind of textured. You can't really tell. Uh, but the only down, the only um, downside of that is that suction cups won't stick to it all that well because it is textured and it's not a clean seal. But I didn't mind. I didn't want suction cups anyway. So that was the next thing I did. I put this wallpaper down, and here it is looking the other way. Um, this kitchen unit I thought would fit in nicely from Ikea, but after assembling it and getting it in there, I didn't like it, and I went a different direction, which you'll see in a later picture. Um, for blinds, I got some room darkening fabric and I put up those command hooks, uh, the kind that you can, the kind that you can pull off without damaging the wall. And I added, I cut the blackout fabric to size, whatever size I needed. And then I added grommets on either end, as you can see. You can also see my awesome wallpaper job with the air bubbles everywhere, but I don't care. Um, so that's how I put up the blinds. And there's a closer view. And it does get pretty dark in there, as you can tell, with all the blackout fabric up there. Uh, here is a side view of pretty much the same stuff. So when I'm taking down the blinds or curtains, whatever you call them, I am just going to take them off completely, fold them up, and I'll show you where I'm going to put them in a later picture. So this is what it looks like after I put down that plastic molding. I don't think it's wood. Um, again, it's not a professional job, but it looks good to me, and I'll take it. Nobody's ever going to get this close to it to notice the screw holes.